You can play frontline like that, but I find it so much more effective to just keep spamming this. It's it's very good to do this. Like this is one of my favorite things on this map. It's so good. Quick word before the video starts. I'm gonna need you guys to go stash that subscribe button and like the video. Because as of right now, only 16.7 people are subscribed. Don't miss out. Also, I'm live every day on Twitch, so come say hi. Or say something like banana to confuse all the Twitch only viewers. Could be our secret. Anyway, let's get into the video. <clears throat> okay. Let's take a look. So you are IMFC. Okay, let's see. First off, number one mistake. Rocking this ugly ass. Uh, ugly ass skin. Ugly ass. Uh. Just another day in the office. You know, I like the skin. I like the hand on it and the shrikens are cool, but the mask is so ugly. <laughs> I don't know, the mask is so ugly. So let's see, we're, we're looking at a gold Genji. Alright, let's see, what's your team? You have an Ana, Soldier, Ryan. Seems like... Ryan seems to be really popular in lower elos, dude. There's like a lot of people play Ryan. Let's see, alright, I like this. He's poking in this spot. like this spot. This is good. Easy ult charge. That's good. That's good. You know, one thing you can actually consider doing on this map, um, I don't do it often, but like if you're gonna do it with like another DPS, you can consider like starting in this window. Like no one ever checks here. And I swear, like your, your, your average like support player is just gonna come here and they're gonna stand there. And it's like actually so free. It's so free. You're just like free behind them. You can, if, even if you don't kill, you can just kind of like dash through them. That's something I want to see people do, and I should do more personally, but I don't. But like, it, it's like that window being there is so good on that map. So good for flankers. <clears throat> Alright, so your Ryan is giga ending. Your sense is really high. I can, I can already tell. I can already tell that your sense is like insanely, insanely high. Okay. So far, so good. Playing with the Ryan. That guy's kind of low. Good that, you, good that you didn't take the bait and dash there. Mm. It's scary to pick a uh, fully charged soldier like that though. Take a look. Okay, one thing you could do on this train is rather than like, okay, you can play frontline like that, but I find it so much more effective to just keep spamming this. This wall climb, you climb like this the train and then you drop right on top of someone's fucking head okay and then you can throw like one or two right clicks before they realize what's happening and then if you don't secure the kill in these in, in these few right clicks you can just uh you can just dash back to the safety of your team it's it's very good to do this like this is one of my favorite things on this map it's so good like this train is so fucking perfect it, it, you just get delivered straight to the to the back line it's very good try doing that more instead of just spamming <laughs> Let's see, that's why you new slide, it's a pretty good target. But actually, what do you hear behind you? You're not reacting to the sound. You have a perfect target right behind you. No one's helping this battle. Literally nobody. It's like, it's so free. Look, react to sounds. That's my number one tip. You can hear the baps behind you. Like, I know Sojourn just used her slide, but like, they're gonna kill your Ryan, but at least you could trade the bap for him. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's see what happens. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Let's see if he turns around. He's just shooting healing shots. Okay. Uh, yeah, you die. Well, there's your number one mistake. I think you should have gone for that BAP. Like, he's literally just above your head. And if you remove BAP, that's like a large part of their healing gone. But to be fair, he is only gold, so it's okay. Yeah, like... You should have realized the moment you saw that soldier slide, everyone's going in that room, you should just go for this BAP. It's completely alone. Super ice. This is actually, this is everything you want as Genji, right? You just want these duels. You want these 1v1s against support characters. That's what you want to do. And whenever you have this opportunity, that's when Genji's at its strongest. It's like in these like 1v1s. It's weak characters. But instead you end up just kind of dying here. You do hit like a nice headshot on that Sojourn, but unfortunately it is in the battle lamp, so you end up dying and I'm assuming your team. This is the fight here because your tank is dead and you're dead. You they have to back off. Oh my god. <laughs> she got saved. She got hella saved there. Yeah, your team is dead here. Yeah. 
Yeah, you guys are gonna lose this fight. I mean, there's probably no point in watching. You guys just lose. Uh, you know what? We've all been there. We've all been there. I think that has happened to everyone. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> Could have been a bit more precise with your dash there and gotten away. Not a good idea in general to like take fights with Moira. Panic dash? Okay, you can see that he's like shaking. Wait! Have you guys not lost a fight? <gasps> what? What? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I need to see what happened. How the hell? I, I just assumed they would have lost. Wait, your Moira just... It was just Nano Moira? Wait. Look at this. They have... Okay. Look, 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 look. So the Bap is going to die here. Soldier already died. No, no, sorry, not Bap. Point. The soldier is gonna die. Let's see here. Wait, I need to see this. I need to see this play out. Okay, I find it hard to believe. Look, there's like four people collapsing on your team. Your your soldier dies. And they don't kill the Moira. Wait, they don't kill the Moira. Oh, and just Nano Cole. <laughs> okay, that is that is okay. That is the most gold thing I've ever seen. Okay, you somehow don't lose the fight, but whatever. Let, let's continue. Uh, we're, we're here to see the Genji gameplay. Uh, I just, I just wanted to see. That was, that was really interesting. Okay, nice. This is good target focus. Uh, a bit too early with the dash. Okay, we have a blade here. Oh, bro, what are you doing that? What are you doing that? What are you doing that with your aim? <laughs> what is that? Oh, you're like wiggling your hand. I mean, that was good. Okay, a couple of things you could have done better though. Number one here. Could have been more patient with your dash here and your aim as well. Because this guy's just, look, look at him. He's just running in a straight line, right? He's running in a straight line. You could have just been more patient there, gotten a bit more damage. But like, you know what? You end up winning this fight. But I also have a problem with this. Is that what you should have done, what will be correct in this in this situation is to like walk a bit closer and swing dash the lamp because uh, what ends up happening here is you like swing dash the sojourn who doesn't take who doesn't die from that you know because the lamp is still up but luckily no one's really looking at you so you get to clean up that was it was good you know what you know what i, I I'll, I'll say that's impressive it's just one thing that you could have done better just but it was good you won the fight that's all that matters doesn't matter how, how you won the fight you won the fight at the end of the day who cares Enemy team got a little bit too silly. Uh, I think my tip to you would be to like, maybe, oh, that was nice. Dirty, I like it. Maybe lower your sense a bit. You look very uncomfortable with your sense. Just a little bit lower, I think. It must be really high, dude, I, I don't know. Dude, what sense do you play? I'm thinking like, like 800 DPI, like, 30 in game or some shit? That's what it looks like to me. Maybe higher. Um, anyway. <laughs> I can't with the hand movement. <laughs> 3200 and 2 in game? Wait, you play the same sense as me. You play the same sense as me. Huh. I feel like, yeah, you're not very comfy with it. Oh, yeah, deflect there. It would have been very big. Uh, one thing you should know, if you ever see a Reaper ulting, literally, you just never have to care as Genji. I know Reaper's a bit of a higher uh, popularity character in the lower ranks, so uh, this might actually be a pretty good tip. Like, it's not really that important in higher ranks because no, no one plays Reaper. But like, if you ever see a Reaper ulting like that, you can literally just press deflect in his face. And... He's literally going to die. He's going to die. You never learn. My ultimate is That's just one specific tip against Reaper. But so far, I mean, it's really hard to judge these lower ranked games, guys, because they play so different. It, I feel like I'm watching a different game. Y'all in lower elos are playing like Overwatch 4, dude. I'm, it's like foreign to me. You know what I mean? It, it feels foreign. Okay, I like that. That was like some crisp aim there. Lock on the Ryan. Uh, 
Yeah, you know what? I respect that. There's only one way. Like, so people always ask me how I'm so good at dealing with Pharaohs, and that's because I probably look like that in the beginning, dealing with them. You know. This is this, like I like I like your target priority. It, like the thing is, Pharaohs get so cocky. You can usually like if your aim was a little bit better here. Let's take a look. Look, she gave you an opportunity here to kill her. This this was an int, by the way. That dash was a complete int. But um. Right here, if your aim was a tiny bit better, you could have actually killed that guy. Right click, right click, dash. That would have killed us. But still, okay, your team is is dying here. I guess I guess your death doesn't really matter. The whole team is dead, so you just dash in for all charge. Sure. 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 Let's see. Okay, we have blade here. What? Okay, we have Blade. What are we thinking? Which target are we going for? We have two very... No, we have one very good target. We, we just want to delete this soldier. We want to make him very unhappy. And maybe... Maybe Moira's going to panic and fade away from us. And then we can chase her with a dash reset off a of soldier. But soldier here is like a free dash reset. Let's see. I'm thinking the best target is probably... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Always react to this. Always. Farah. Enemy seen. If you hear Farah Barrage, she is like literally the most vulnerable hero in the game. And you're, you're in a perfect spot to just murder her here. You could have just... Re okay, that number, that's the number one thing. He's not really reacting to the sounds of the heroes. He's not, he's not reacting to the sound cues that uh, are happening in the game. He could have like... You could have definitely killed this Farah. This is a very... Like Farah is a very high priority target. Very... Like when she's ulting... Always go for her because she is standing still in the air and just begging to die. And not to mention, like, as Genji, you can also just dash through her and then deflect in her face. If you deflect in her face, she will immediately My die. Is charged. And so you look at her a little bit late, but it's okay. Let's see. We still have Blade here. Oh, we have Nano Blade. All right, let's go. Gun on the soldier. Okay. 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 All right, I like that. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, he's a bit lost here. It's fine. My hands are wasting on you. Surely you guys don't lose this, right? It's 2v4. 2v5. Nice. That, that was good. That was good. I like that. He cooked. He cooked. He cooked. I mean, his blades this game have been good. Both his blades were actually really good. So far. I want to see where this game is going to go wrong. It's in one minute. Nice, working a bit here. It's good. Why is he shaking so much? His sense is really high. He's probably not used to it yet. Uh, a little bit of a mechanical error there. Bit of a skill issue. I think we could have killed that Reaper. He was definitely like a really easy target walking in a straight line. Okay, what happened here is you just didn't right click. You just did it a little bit. You, you dashed a tiny, like a split second too early and you didn't throw out a right click. You would have killed him a little bit. Oh well, that happens. Yeah, it was a fat anti. Could have definitely. Like, you should always like keep a lookout on your Ana's antis because Genji is like one of the best synergi synergizing targets with anti. He has the ability to just follow up in like absolutely clean house before the anti even ends. But maybe we have another fight here. Let's see, depending on people touch. Yeah, we're at one point. You're right here. Right here, let's see. What do we see when we jump? We see a... a sl we hear, again, another sound cue. Very important. We hear our Ana just slept someone. Okay? We should react to that. See, the soldiers are trying to react to it. You, I think you could have killed the Mercy there. If you saw. She ends up dying. Oh, wait, you guys win. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I mean, the biggest takeaway from this so far is, has been like. Um, you're not really reacting to the sound cues. They're very important. They're very important tells on what you should do. You heard the sleep there at the end? She just went in. Need someone to Ready for battle. Merc that Mercy. Probably gotten another dash reset off of it. Leave the little guy alone? No, he just, he won't. I, I'm, I'm not flaming, okay? I'm not flaming. I'm, I'm trying to help. Nice. Okay, that's a good... A good kill there. That guy was clearly 
extremely out of position. Oh! Okay, okay. Let him cook. No! No, don't have to mercy. Okay, I like that. I like that. I mean, you guys should win. That, that was like... What you did there, that was like a game-winning play. Or a... Uh, sorry, a fight-winning play. Like, surely you guys win here. Oh, your mind has kind of into You can kill this guy here, definitely. Nice, good. Patient with his shurikens, I like that. He's zoned in. Uh, don't fight Moira at range. You, you never want to, like... You never want to fight Moira at this range. You either want to be, like, in her face or out of her, like, suck range. You, you will not do any damage here. Like this. She wastes fade there. Surely... I guess feeding. No wraith. Should be able to kill him here. Good. Nice. Two supports. Ideal targets here. Monkey one. Nice. Yeah, I mean, so far this is pretty good. I would have dashed in there. It's fine. Either case, you guys win the fight. Let's see. Uh, you should also always be pressing tab. And looking at your Anna's like oh, culture, is one thing that's very important. And also kind of be mindful of her position when you're not writing. I'm assuming that's what you guys are going to try to do. I think we just get out here. Let's see what happens. The door's closed. We're just kind of vulnerable here. Oh. Your pin? Wait, she didn't die to the pin. Oh, that's weird. Oh, nice. We have a nice target here. Okay, Blade, here we go. Nice. Oh, you guys just use like 50 ults. You know what? I don't mind that Blade there. I don't mind it. I feel like it's good to wait for Nano, but like it wasn't clear if you guys are going to win. So that, that's an okay decision. Yeah, we can, you can definitely finish off this one. You know he's won. Ready to kill him. Oh, he dies, surely. Nice. Big stagger, actually. Oh, but he gets res. <laughs> okay. Calm down, man. You need to calm down your aim. You're way too, like... Way too shaky. Way too shaky. Close. That was good. See, like, the moment you calm down a bit, you hit, a, you hit way more shots. This guy's sense is way too high. Yeah, that's my number one tip to him. It's very hard to play if your sense is, like... If you're this uncomfortable, like, clearly the sense is way too high. Now we're stuck. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if you had a chance to win here. If you had a chance to do something different. Again? Okay, here we go. Yeah, as I said, okay, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to just walk into him. It's too early for death to bloom. That's so cool. It's too early for death to bloom. That's so edgy. Yeah, just don't be afraid to like literally walk into him. It's such a throw to like Reaper ult when a Genji's close to you. You just die. You literally just, like, just murder yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna add for a gold rank is that he really needs to disrespect people at this rank because that's what helping get out of gold. That's true. People are dumb in this rank. I mean, I think he's playing relatively confident. He's he's definitely like he's definitely being a chat. He just needs to like he just needs to like um master his like mechanics. He needs to like practice them a little bit more because he's like making a, a lot of like mechanical errors that are causing him to like not kill people. I mean, this happens to me as well. I, I make a fuck ton of mechanical errors like on. on on a game-to-game -game basis, it's just unavoidable. We're human, right? But, like, we can try to minimize them. And that's what he should do. He needs some, like, practice. He needs some, like, DMGRE time. He needs some NWTPV time. You know what I mean? He needs to, like, just, like, practice his aim just so he's more comfy with it. Sure. Let's see here. I, I wouldn't be going in, in more space like this. This is kind of... Luckily, she's not looking at you, but this is very scary. Oh, okay. Here we go. Well, uh, here's an issue with this nano blade. Is it your nano blade is starting when two people are dead? That's this is not great. This is not great at all. I think I don't know if you called it here. Like you're probably calling it, but 
Yeah, what you should have done instead is just like, I guess try to help your backline here. Yeah, you just peel for your backline until you guys have like a clean engagement. Because look, you, she presses nano. She she has to like basically die to like get in a position to nano her uh, to nano you. It would have been way better for you instead of like losing your ana. This is what I mean. Uh, low rank players. I mean this happens to me too, but uh. They're not aware, they're not aware, like low, low rank Genjis must be such a pain to play with if you're an Ana, because they're not aware ever of your position, yet they like expect Nano. So like, you expect to be nano here, but don't you think it would have been way easier for you to just like start your Nano Blade from here? Like, look, this is so perfect. They're, they're literally playing in a perfect position for you to like just murder three people. So let's, let's go a bit back. Let's go a bit back. Yeah, I know you don't have Blade here, but you, the thing is you don't need Blade. You don't need to have blade to start with, you can get nanoed at like 90% and like your first dash in is gonna get you the, uh, what's it called? The, your blade, like look, 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 how, look how perfect this is. You're in a perfect position to carry this fight. If you just like, you just jump here and you take a look, you should be calling for nano like right now. If you call for nano right now, you have a calling Moira, which is like, by the way, like an extremely free kill for nano blade. Uh, because she can't fade away and you have three four squishies here look at and your moira's calling them so they're probably gonna die in like one swing look look how perfect this is this is your this is your mistake here and i don't know if you guys could have like if you nano blade right here and you kill four which is like not hard because they're all stacked up right they're all stacked up and they're good heroes to blade like you have soldier very easy calling moira very easy and a mercy which can't really get away from you because her team is just so like bunched up here if you just like if you were aware of your where your ana is you could have definitely just nano bladed here. You, should, you could have asked for it, but instead you just walk in here. You LOS your Anna. Now she's too busy fighting the monkey. She can't nano you, and she, even if she wanted to, she she can't because you're literally behind like a wall, right? You're behind like three walls here. So you should have called for nano like right up here. <clears throat> yeah, and now your team dies. You call for nano very late. This is really throw. Like at least if you guys didn't commit nano blade here, it would have been fine. But instead, like you, sure you do get your two easy kills that I mentioned, but far too late because two of your teammates are dead and you don't even like, you don't even live. So you guys just die, and I'm assuming the rest of your team ends up getting cleaned up here. Okay, and Creed came back from spawn. This is kind of messy, but you guys are kind of winning. You guys are all winning this fight. That's interesting. But I'm, I'm telling you, you could have carried and none of your teammates would have died if you just bladed in that moment. Be more aware of your Ana's position. It's very important. Oh no, what am I watching? Not the Reaper guy. No. The barrier cannot withstand much <sighs> the Necro special. <laughs> no, you gave up on the Genji. You could have won. They don't have a defense vault. I still think, okay, it's it's rough to play in neutral against fucking Moira Monkey. But look at their supports. They're running they're running Moira Mercy, right? So you just win with Nanoblade. He watched the other little bro. Dude. <laughs> I don't go Reaper that often, right? I don't go Reaper that often. Well, I mean, there's nothing really for me to review. I guess that's my, where my... Water views for you is going to end. I think you could have carried here. You could have 100% carried this fight. It's hard to say if your team would have won off of this. I think the payload would have pushed enough. Maybe they would have had a touch, but you know, it would have been like a trickle and they probably would have inted. You could have definitely carried here. This exact moment right here. Right here. Right here. If you look around, observe your situation. <clears throat> this is perfect here. You see a calling more and a soldier. You should be calling for Nano. Your Anna's is it? You're not actually looking at you. Now she's looking at the monkey. Putting your ass in her face. Bring his ass in her face. But yeah, like. Yeah, I feel like th this is this was your mistake. You could have carried here. Be more okay. Number one, you're not reacting to sound cues. Number two, you're not uncomfortable with your sense. And number three, you need to be more aware of your Anna's position. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's it. I guess that's gonna conclude the VOD review for now. But other than that, man, like, I feel like 
yeah, a lot of like mechanical errors were happening in that game. But that, all of that didn't matter. This mattered. This was like fight, like game losing. The fact that you didn't like, that you guys wasted Nanoblade. You used it late, you wasted Nanoblade, and you didn't even really win the fight. Probably.